Okay, explain to me, how does this work? Well, you have a uh, handheld transmitter, you have the machine itself, uh, this is all electric. Yes, these are electric powered models, which are obviously perfect for flying indoors. As the uh, battery technology has improved for our cell phones, our laptops, the advent of lithium polymer has really given us a battery that we can use in these models and get great power to weight ratios that we never had in gas or glow before. The helicopter, we have a transmitter. We're using the 2.4 gigahertz band now instead of 72 megahertz. We basically have minimal to zero interference at all. Uh, we have the ability to turn on the, the transmitter and it finds an open channel on its own. We don't have to use frequency boards. It's an excellent technology. This particular transmitter actually has six channels. So we're outputting six different functions at one time. It's computer programmable, which means we can adjust very small uh, adjustments to the servos and things without have actually having to adjust linkages, we can do it all on the transmitter. It's a very powerful transmitter. Nice thing is this particular transmitter has 10 model memory, so when you buy it with the helicopter, even though you have this one model, you may have more models later on, you can use the same transmitter. So we've got two control sticks here. This is what we call mode two. There's four different modes, but in the U.S. we primarily fly with the throttle and collective on the left-hand stick, which is here. We have the rudder yaw control here. We have aileron roll control here and we have elevator pitch control here. Although I've only talked about four or five functions, the throttle and collective are mixed here, there's another channel which actually adjusts the gain of the gyro. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. So, the transmitter is talking to a receiver in the model with these small antennas here. That's another benefit of the 2.4 technology because of the wavelength we have a very short antenna. Excellent. Connected to that is the gyro. Also connected to it are these servo units here. These are the units that actually give us the control of the functions on the helicopter. You can see it moving with the collective pitch there and also the other controls. We have a speed control which controls the speed of the motor. The motor is a brushless AC type motor. It's basically, um, this particular one probably puts out somewhere in the neighborhood of about a third to a, a half a watt or, uh, or a half a horsepower of power. Um, it's a pretty powerful motor for its size and this coupled with the lithium polymer battery, we get about five minutes of very aggressive flying. And when you get a chance to see it, people are just absolutely mesmerized. You can get up to 10 minutes, you can get up to 20 minutes if you use larger batteries as well, but most people are pretty happy with the power to weight that we've chosen out of the box. So the controls here, are telling the servos what to do. So here, when we adjust the left-hand control stick, we're actually adjusting the collective pitch of the main rotor blades. You can see the blades, as I bring the stick low, the pitch decreases, and as I raise it, the pitch increases. This stick also controls the throttle. We have the motor shut down for safety now, but as you increase pitch, usually we increase power. We have a pitch range in our idle up stunt mode that we call, which is where we fly the 3D aerobatics, where at zero, we have zero degrees at half stick. Gotcha. We have positive 10 degrees of pitch at, at the upper stick position and then negative 10 at the bottom. Gotcha. That's what allows us to do everything upside down that we can do right side up. It's a pretty exciting feature. We have the yaw control here. Although there's a gyro controlling the rudder servo or the tail servo, which is controlling the pitch of the tail rotor blades, we're the, we have the ability to demand either a certain amount of power pirouette rate or we can tell the, the tail to change its direction or the gyro to change its direction and we can keep the nose on a heading that we choose. Over here we have the elevator control by pulling back the helicopter pitches back. This is also a, a Bell Hiller mixing equipment machine. So this is all our conventional cyclic controls. Basically, this is your cyclic control. So when we give an elevator input, we're changing the pitch of the paddles, the fly bar paddles, as well as the pitch of the blades. Okay. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own, and easy-to-operate, very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Now, back to Aero TV. 
And we have a control system in our RC helicopters, which is probably not used in the large scale. We have it's called CCPM. It's cyclic collective pitch mixing. The idea is we have three servos basically doing the job that one servo did before. So you can see when I move the collective pitch, we have three servos moving the swash plate up and down at the same time. Okay. It's very powerful, very precise control. We have two servos in roll and we have three servos in pitch. It allows us to remove some of the mixing levers and things that we had to use in the past. It also allows us to double up and triple up the power of the servos. Okay. We've complicated software in the transmitter to compensate for that and to keep any interactions as minimal as possible. Right. We're very impressed by what we see here, but let's go see it fly. Excellent. Let's go over and see it fly.